fact, lost three of the last five fights. Nakathila and will try just to get back to winning ways, facing uh, the man from Zimbabwe, Evans. Uh, uh, we see Ahue who, who really also himself lost the last fight, but uh, has a better record. Uh, before that, he had uh, collected uh, five straight wins before the last defeat. And then uh, he is now also on uh, three consecutive defeats in his last three fights. So he's in a better space than Nakathila. Nakathila last two defeats, but those were against Raymond Muratilia and also against uh, Emesto Mercato. Can he redeem himself now, Nakathila? I think I think it's a good thing. A good thing. I mean, for the past few years, uh, for the past two, two to three years or so, we haven't seen Nakathila fighting home. And I think this is, this is a good thing for him to come back and fight home and probably give his fan a good win or a, a, nice, a good win for him. So, uh, you know, you, you, you can never count anyone out until, until uh, the last the, the last bell rings. You know, you know yes, uh, I think he wants to show a point that uh, for the past few fights that they've been in America, he, he have learned a lot, although though he, they, they did not uh, probably go in his favor. He have learned a lot and then as uh, you probably just here to show and, and try to display the, this win. So obviously a win for me also again, again put him back in with the good ratings where he will probably be able to get up with one of the good fights again. The last fight he fight at home that is in 2021 in October. Jeremia Nakatila against uh, Dodana Ngupe and it was at the Window Country Club. It was a victory with a TKO for Nakatila. Back home. That's what we're looking for again. It was uh, in the second round of that fight of eight rounds. And obviously, Evan also he knows what he's up against, and then uh, he also wants to put a point that look, uh, I did not come here just to come and play. Uh, he probably yes, you give him a, a good run for his money. Uh, but then Nakatila like knows it's fine. I, 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 I've been I've been in the states, you know. Uh, I've been in the America, in, in the States, where everyone, everyone knows when you fight the state, that's where boxing, where boxing is kind of like made of. So he wants to come and show off what he have, what he have learned there, and hopefully tonight he'll be able to show his, his fans exactly what he have learned for the past few fights that he have fought outside the country. Nakatila, two years younger than Evans. Nakatila, 27, and Evans, 29. Men from uh, Zim have uh, really good, uh, not a bad record, 18 fights, 16 wins. Nakatila, 26 fights, 22 wins, 4 losses for Nakatila. So, has an impressive record, the man from Zim. And uh, I think it's a good one for, 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 for Nagatila, I think, you know, it, it's a good one. He needs just to take his time and make sure that uh, he, he gets this one uh, into, the, into the win. I mean, obviously, I know he will want to probably want to win by a knockout and all that. But also, again, even if he goes up to some, some rounds, he must just need to get back some rounds into his back and see what he, what, what, what he can probably display and show his fans. You know? Because I know, obviously, the fans are probably hungry for him to be here or for him to be around and see him in, the, in, in action again. But then again, also, he needs the win which is very 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 important because the win will again open up a door for him to be for another big fight again i think evans knows exactly what he's up against that's why he's not, he's not really and he's not really he's not really uh, trying to to make unnecessary moves and unnecessary punches as well. So, but then again, uh, uh, Nagasira also is not uh, is not wasting much punches. Uh, he wants to make sure that whatever punch he throw is on target. What about Nagasira losing four fights? We have uh, all those who are in enemy territory. He's never lost a fight at home, and uh, you will expect that to repeat itself here against Evans uh, from Zimbabwe. 
but uh, it has not been an obvious uh, if you look at the evidence of the first two rounds or round and a half still Nakasila had to come out and work for a victory here if he wants to movement of uh, the man from Zimbabwe looks very good. Attila trying to get combinations together. The target is too short for him as well. And, it, and, and Evans is trying, he's very, he's very, very clever in making sure that he protects himself. He knows this guy's a strong puncher and he's not trying to, he's trying to go up and wave every time Nagasila comes in front. So Nagasila also, I don't think, I don't think he's picking up that this guy is, you no, know, he just, of course he needs to just to, to set him up and try to score because now Nagasila also is not setting him up he also wants every punch that he throw he wants to be a big shot which is not really going to work like that he need to set up his opponent he need to set it up with a jab or so and then he throw the big shot there's a lot of them that are really punching the air from Nakatila, which is really costing which is really going to cost him because when he starts to punch a lot of air like that it's going to work he's going to walk him out and it's going to tie him as well but but what i say what that's what I think Nagasaki is trying to do is actually trying. He wants to, he wants to prove a point. He wants to prove a point that 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 he knows that he's much better than ever, which is socially, which is socially not good because him now is not playing his game. He wants to prove, he wants to prove a point to the to the fans that no, I've been out, I've been I've been in the states, I've been around. So our, this boy is nothing to me. But then that's not how you do it. You actually just set him up and let him come to the punch by himself. Because now the boy, the opponent, even knows exactly this guy wants to hit big shots. And if you want to hit big shots, he won't, he won't allow him to do it. You make him lose and you make him look bad. And, you saw that it's, and that's not what he wants. End of round number two. Nakathila with the attempts to get uh, most of his combinations, but uh, they are not really landing at this stage. And I think uh, Evans might be sitting there and thinking that I have done a great job thus far because yeah. I've not been hurt. And like him says, Nakatila is going for the killer punches and uh, not really trying to go around and set up his opponent for the killer. And there you see the power he's putting behind the punches. Whether that is sustainable for the 10 rounds, we are yet to see. Round number three. Round number three coming up for, for, for Jeremiah Gaspar Best Evans. Uh, hopefully, that, I hope that the corner probably talk to him. Just to set up. Just try to jump and set up your opponent. Don't try to go for a killer punch. Because if you go for a killer punch, to just again look bad for him. And then actually, that's not what you want him to do. You want, you want a clear win, you want a knockout win, but you want a knockout win in a good, in a good form. Comes uh, right there from Nakatila. Early on in the third round, continues where he left off with those uh, big ones. And uh, the man from uh, Zimbabwe. As, as much as as much as Evan is not as much as Evan is not it's not, not really causing any trouble on Nakatila. He's making him look bad. That's why Nakatila really need to he really need to adjust and see exactly what he does. So, so whatever. There he is. But it's a, that's a slip. That's, that's a, a slip. slip. It's a tough nut to crack. Uh, that is uh, Evans. Uh, if you look at the two fights he have lost, one was uh, went all the way, went the distance. It was a ten rounder. He lost it on points. And then the other one was uh, a medical decision. So he has not been really knocked out of any fight at the professional level at least. So Nakathila will have to deal with that as well. But he will be the first man to knock this man down in his boxing career. But it's Nakathila who has him in the corner now. And uh, Evans 
is behind the glass protecting him very well and come out of that very strong as well with a smile on his face like like i was saying you see like i said, I need to you need to you just need to to, to, to come and co co calm himself down because now you know even could see that this guy is hungry for a knockout for a big punch you want to you want to you want to, you want to, you want to make a statement so what what, what like I said, I need to do you just need to you need to set him up need to set him up allow him to relax allow him to forget that that he allow him to forget that that, that he's, he's getting big punches and then just let him come to the punch himself but then obviously each and every boxer with his own style so we don't know what this style what, what he has in mind but then again it doesn't make him look good at all his experience is coming handy here uh, the man from Zimbabwe, Evans really working around and psychologically wants to get Nakathila tired here and maybe come with uh, better things but uh, apart from him taking care of Nakathila taking care of uh, the punches Nakatil, that Nakathila is bringing to him he have not bring anything forward not at all he's not doing anything at all he's just making him look bad at all he does that at all he just make him look because end of the day uh, when you look at the two boxers he doesn't really have a punch to 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 head to head Nakatila that much but then he just wants him to make he just want him to look bad and 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 that and that alone that alone is frustrating Nakatila because whatever he's trying to do is not catching you know all the big shots he's trying to throw they are either going over the head or it's probably missing and that's not that doesn't make him look good that's what i'm saying you need to relax you just need to take his time i think it's going i just need to talk to him and take his time and then you catch him with time this is very interesting fight Round number five uh, is looming. And it's quite, it's quite fast, it's quite going fast because, you know, it's exciting. Although, although, although everyone is not doing anything, it's very much exciting uh, uh, to watch uh, uh, because, you know, you want Nakasira to, to finish off, to do what he, what he, what he does best for only giving those big punches. But then the thing is, it's not lending, it's not catching, those punches are not lending and, 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 and catching on him. It's missing and that alone making him look bad. Round number four. Jeremia Nagatila. You see, Evan is not there to win. For me, he's not there to win. He's just there for, for me to, he's just there to, 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 for him to, 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 to make him look bad. Because whatever punch he throws, he's not hitting Nagatila at all. And then, but then Nagatila is getting frustrated by this guy because he's not getting him, he's not getting those big shots that he wants to. You look at that, you see, look how, how bad he looks when he messes those punches. And that alone motivates Evans because when he messes, it motivates him and then it gets anger, it angers Nagatila himself. It's not a man with a big punch himself as well. In the 18 fights, he won 16. And out of the 16, only nine. He got his opponent now, and that's Evans. You see, he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. He's just there to make sure that Nagatia looks bad. And Nagatia is not picking up this team of saying, this guy is making me look bad. So why don't I just do him with a light, uh, light jab and uh, see how it goes? Because once you do a light jab, this guy probably will go already with his clothing. Then you can get him with an upper cut or with a left hook or whatever. Casilla is halting back for the big one at the moment. He has a minute, uh, over a minute and 20 seconds. He's been warned to not go too low beneath the belt. And that alone is frustrating him. You see, look how it is. You know, he's not picking up this guy. He's not picking up what this guy's strategy is. This guy's strategy is not there to win. For me, because he's not there to do anything to hurt him or to score points, he's just there to make him look bad. Frustrating Nakasila. At this stage, that is uh, Evans. Under a minute remaining in this uh, fourth round. You can see what Evans is doing. He's really running the whole ring. And this guy is quite, is quite really, you know, his eyes, his eyes is on this opponent. 
is as on the Nakatira. Every move that Nakatira is trying to do, every three big two punch that he's trying to throw, he makes sure he sees it. Under 20 seconds. Nakatila looking for an, an opening just to get one landing. And that alone, I think, is frustrating because you know he's trying everything. He's trying so hard to get, to get to, to, to hit this guy, but then this guy is not. It's not. It's nowhere to be seen. So I think the corner again. They need to tell him, look, my brother, look, my, my boy, you need to do this. You need to get. You need to calm yourself down. Prepare this guy. Jump him slow, slow, slow. Let him. Let him not see what you're gonna be. Because every time you prepare a big punch, this guy, you're not gonna catch him. Round number five. Uh, slowly but surely, getting to, it's getting to us the, the round going. You know, we thought it was probably going to be a uh, walk in the park for Nagasena, but then Evans is proving us wrong here. You no, know, as much as he's not landing on, on, on his opponent that much, he's making sure that Nagasena is going to get a win, but he's going to work hard to get his win. Everybody who won against him had to work very hard. Uh, that's. Uh, now Evans also comes. He said, "Look, look. Also, I'm also not here to play. I also can throw. So if you give me chance, I can also hit. So that's why. But then, but then, then again, that alone, uh, I think that now that Asla is, is trying to say, wow, this guy. I thought because also for him, he probably had to think of I hit this guy with big shots. You probably get to finish him out. But then this Evans is not dead. He's not dead too. He's just not walking the pass. Looks like the first the one for the, the opponent of uh, Manuel Mungajela, where we just got hit by one punch and he's out." Right become a very very difficult object to aim at uh, for Nakathila at this stage he is finding it very difficult to connect with uh, clear punches because of the mobility of uh, Evans uh, in that ring he will not settle at one point for long and he wants Nakathila to follow him the whole ring and uh, Nakathila really struggling to lend them As we are just under one minute and 30 seconds uh, into the fifth round. Slowing down in the fifth. Athila is thinking, what can I do? What can I do to get this guy out of here? You know, I want that win, I want that win by knockout. But then, but then this guy is not, he's not going down. I'm not catching him as much as I want. I saw the punch, I think he slipped. That's a slip. Yes, slip. The punch. That's a slip. Referee in agreement there. He faced a man that have never got a knockdown. Uh, that is uh, Evans, and it's uh, very evident why he's a uh, very difficult. Uh, His mobility is really making things difficult for Nakatila. You know, he wants. You know, Nakatila wants to catch him with that big shot, but then that just that mobility of him, that being so, he's been on his feet and making sure that I'm not going to stand, I'm not going to be your punching back. Because the moment you stand and punching back, yes, he's hitting back as well. So, sitting back, he's uh, in there for, for a fight. So, he's, come all the way from day, he's, not, he's, not, he's not that, he's not just uh, trying to move as well. He also, here and there, he can do it, he can do a different, but he's just uh, looking at the two bodies, you know. It doesn't really won't, won't really have a much difference on the Katila. Even if he's not even if he's not hitting that much or making a fight, you know, it's more exciting to watch and it's it's fun. I think it's you know the rounds are running, 
we, we, we thought maybe it's going to be a one-sided fight, but then obviously, uh, even if it's the, the punches are not catching here and there, there are times when it really makes like, a start to think, wow, what is this guy up to? It's really been a great evening. I think the fans are really, they, they were hungry for boxing in a long time and they're out to really support their, their fans, their, 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 their boxers. And it just shows by, you know, the venue, as big as it is, they are here uh, supporting. And until now, they are all up here just to cheer up. And they're all waiting for the main bout uh, of uh, Philip, of uh, Philip Tumba vs. the camp one from China. And we have uh, one more bout. Uh after this one before we get to the main event of uh, the evening of the night the 27 year old uh, Jeremia Nakatila Ken, who is uh, striving to get some kind of connection in his combinations that are really going to hurt uh, Evans, who seems to be very mobile, very, very smart very about it. And smart and making sure that this guy, I want to make him, I want to make him mess and make him mess, but then also don't make a mistake. You know, when I get a chance, I can also punch. There's Nakathila, maybe now he has him. And the crowd are screaming for Nakathila to go for him once and for all. Twice body punches. But then also but Evans does not give him a chance when, he, when, he, when, he, when, he, when he's down there throwing punches. He's also throwing back. So he's not just there trying to protect and cover himself. He's also trying to throw back and also that as well confuse and also give Nakathila to adjust and try to play again. Very difficult for Nakathira to really get uh, the target here. This one of the fact that you could say, you know, Nakathira here really is getting value, is really getting, uh, you know, you get, uh, if he can, when getting a win here, it's really going to work, 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 work for him. And he would have loved to have a KO or a TKO. That's basically what he wants, and that's basically what he wants. That's why he's, he's throwing those big shots there. But then obviously the TO can still come. Uh, if, if he just, again, just give it time and try to play the way well as well. The TO still come. I mean, those, those rounds are still a lot. I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, Evan can stand all, all those punches. But again, one other thing, you cannot take away anything from him because this guy is quite smart. He knows whenever he wants to throw big shots, he knows, uh, and then he tries to get out of the punch. End of round number six again. And we are goals. where we were. And uh, you can see that uh, Evans still dancing. And then he gets to the corner and I can see that, I can see that probably just sitting there in the corner and saying, what, what is this guy made of? Why am I not getting this guy? No, I'm trying so hard to get him through, but then I'm not getting through to him. Some of the actions from the previous round there, you see Nakathila poking and trying by all means to get uh, some decent combinations that are really not coming forth. Seven's out, round number seven.
Round number seven. Oh. Again, safe as a Again, flat on his feet. So in that alone, it's a frustrating attack because he wants to get him down. He wants to hit him down and make him look like that. But then, even he's just a big guy. He's just so hard to, so that's a hard nut to crack. Very much so. Heaven had, or heaven had a lot from uh, Evans to Nakathila. He had a lot uh, directed from Nakathila to Evans. But uh, the question was how many of those are effective. And maybe now Nakathila has the object now in front of him. As now it's for him to target. He tries a lot of uppercuts there. And they were very much uh, taken by. Evans. No, I think Evans is, is, you know, the, the thing is that when, 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 if you are trying to hit, if you are trying to hit a, a powerful punch, in front, the opponent in front of you could see that you are trying to hit a, a powerful punch and then he will prepare his body. So whatever punch lands, it's as powerful as it's from your side. He's well prepared, so it won't really have any big effect. And that's basically what, what, what Nagata is doing. Whatever punch which is powerful that he's throwing, Evans could see that this guy is throwing a big punch and he prepares his body and then he just take it well. Katila now. Over a minute of the seventh. We need to be more creative about what he is uh, doing here. Uh, Jeremiah and Katila. But Evan is quite, you know, he, he, you know, one thing of him, you know, we should take a, we should take our head off of him because. As much as he's not doing anything to anything meaningful to get uh, to hit or to, to, to get the damage on Nakasira, he is really making sure that Nakasira doesn't get that easy win that he wants. He wants to get an easy win, but then that easy win is not coming. So, yes, uh, to, got caught by two straight on the face, uh, but then again, uh, he, the next the next punch is trying to get away. I think it's like, just like what you said before, I think the experience of, 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 of Evans is really playing a role here where, where he comes and knows that uh, this, for me to survive these guys, I need, just need to be so much tricky in everything that I do. Under, under 12 seconds. Of, now here comes seven. the uppercut, 10 seconds for him to finish this one off. I will be, he won't finish it off, it will be safe, he won't be safe at the best. He will be safe at the best. There we go. We're gonna see round eight. The only thing that we're sure of is that Nakatila are way, way ahead in terms of the points on the He's scorecard. Way in terms of, I mean, I don't see any round that uh, Evans have won so far. I think Nakatila have won all the rounds. They have won all the rounds. So it's just that I think of just that Evans is not there to give Nakatila an easy fight in terms of uh, to get that victory just that he wants to walk in the park. He you know, yes, he knows he's winning, but then he must end his winning throughout the 12th 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10th round, that I think. I think that is his game plan because he's saying, look, I've never been knocked down and I don't, it won't be the first time for me, it won't be the first thing for me to be knocked down in Namibia. That's where the moments of Nakatila there, trying to get his men, drop his men, rather. A very heavy uppercuts, but very well absorbed by the man from Zimbabwe in the orange and white and black trunk. Man from Namibia, Jeremy Nakatila, is in the gold and black trunk. And we again during round number eight. So that means three more rounds to go. It is scheduled for ten. And uh, Evans having a very tough nut to crack and he decides to come in. No, like I say, you know, it's not just a walk in the park as well. As much as he's not having any effect, also his experience and everything counts. I mean, makes him really uh, to also want to make sure that for him to just to get Nagata to win, must also think of saying, look, this guy, as much as I hit him, he can also, I must just be relaxing and looking for a punch because anything can happen as well. I might be caught by one of his punches and probably go down. And that's not what he wants. Even if he's not gonna, even if he's not gonna knock him down, if he probably get a punch by him and go down, he's got grounded. That's not what he wants. Although Nagatila is quite, quite ahead on points. 
crowd goes behind the Namibian here to go on and finish what he have started here. But uh, there Evans. is a boxer in front of uh, Jeremy Nakatila. His name is Evans. And uh, he's not an easy guy to beat. And I think that alone as well motivates him as well when, when the guys are making, um, you know, they, as much as they're shouting like I said, they also motivate him probably saying, no, I, don't, I'm, I, won't be, I won't be the first guy, I won't be knocked here, and probably this guy won't be, oh, I won't lose my first knock by knockout in Arabia. So yes, I know I'm losing already, but I'm not going to lose by knockout. Yeah, he tries. Some couple of mixture of combinations there from uh, Evans. And those, 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 those punches and Nakatila have missed as well. They also take a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of air out of him as well. Although, even if he wants to finish it off as well, I mean, he's also thinking twice because sometimes, even if I throw these guys with big shots and I don't get him out, I must also be able to stand and go continue. Here comes Nakatila. He has him again in the corner. He got one big punch there. And again, well taken by Evans. Got out of trouble there for a moment, but Nakathila still determined. Here comes another right there. Got him right with the he got uh, caught there by the right, and Nakathila want to follow it up. And Evans uh, still there, retaliating and fighting back. And that's the thing that he sees. You know, he saw Nakathila, now Nakathila thinks when he, whenever he catch him with a big shot, then he thinks that the next take will go. But then this guy knows once he gets me the big shot, I know the big shot will come and then he tried to bop and wave and try to get out of, out, get, to get out of the way. So and that alone make him miss and they make him look bad as well. Under 10 seconds remaining again. We are going to see round number nine or not. There's Nakathila again. That's a great combination, the left and the right ball. there. Safe for the ball and he's quite happy. You know, it's, he's quite happy. It's round number nine. Hopefully, now he starts counting down the round. Hopefully, it will hope and believe that, yes, I can go the 10th round and I can go and probably lose by points only. I don't want to... It it has been, been a great evening of boxing. We've been a quite, quite exciting fight, you know, for the, for the, for the feather witness of that of like, the Findaka fight uh, with, with uh, Cristiano Thomas and then the fight of uh, 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 Fred Itunani as well. And there are quite a few fights that we have seen as well. And not, not to leave the fight of, uh, of, of, of uh, Van Veik and uh, Elena Chukongo, the, 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 the young ladies that were just doing an exhibition. It's quite an exciting fight and very interesting to watch as well. Round number nine is the next big thing here. Is Nagatira going to finish in round number nine or are they going to continue to round number ten? That's the question that we need to be answered by him. He has three minutes to do that. Is it going to be three minutes or is it going to be six minutes? <laughs> I really not seeing Nakatila doing this one with a TKO, a KO. <laughs> I'm seeing this uh, event guy going the distance and losing on points. And that alone is a motivation for him. He's quite happy and it's quite an achievement for him. You know, you know he, for him, things being hit with those big shots and still go out, uh, go out until the, the, the go lose by points. You know, it's quite a big thing. It's a big achievement for him. Like I said, it's a big achievement for him, even if he doesn't get any any win. Obviously, on Moscow, on Moscow cut here, he even not win any rounds that we have seen so far. Uh, and then, the, whatever he does, unless maybe it's going to be a magical way, he hits like a and probably not get up, but that's it. With the punch that he's throwing, that cannot happen. So, and Nagatela is posing and trying to get, he wants to get that knockout, he wants to get that big shot, he wants to get that knock. And obviously, getting a knock in round number nine, round number ten, is going to be a very challenge on the cake. People will love to see that because, you know, he has really earned it. He have really worked hard for his win, if you so just so, so to say. Over a minute and 30 seconds. But Jeremy and Akatila will be very interesting to see. We have seen a glimpses of uh, Evans coming forth and try to be a little bit creative and offensive, but uh, 
maybe the final round I, I don't see him sticking to what he is currently doing in that final round because he will need to now to get out and try to win the fight no what he wants to do what he wants, i think what he wants to do is he just wants to get the final round and probably just try to survive and get through all, through it i think his own his main, main, main game plan now is just for him not to lose on the knockout that's what obviously that's what that's not what he wants all he wants now he just wants to obviously he knows he's losing but then he wants to lose only by points he doesn't want to lose by knockout and i think if, if he can pass over this round nine it will be Going to round 10, we we'll probably go in there highly motivated and say, look, I'm going to finish this and you're going to win only on your points. It's 30 seconds for Nakathila to do that. Try to win it. Yes, hey, go, going to the last round, I don't think Nakathila is going to win in the knockout. If he doesn't get it out now into, the round, into round number 9, going to the last round, I don't see he's going through to, to win on, on, on knockout because this guy, we can going to the last round, he's going to make sure that everything that you're going to do, you're going to try to survive, and you're going to try to survive until the end. Last nine seconds. It will be the end of round number nine. And uh, we're moving into round number and ten. You could, you could see the, the huge smile on Evan's face. He knows, yes, I've made it. I've Look made it there. to round number ten. And this round number ten is going to be a fun. I know for sure, yes, like I said, I'm going to go out there with all these big shots and try to throw whatever he has in him. But then again, Evans is going to go out there and try to make sure that, yes, those big shots are not catch me because I will not want, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be very, it's going to be so great if, if Nagasaki could knock him in the last round. It's going gonna, gonna to be worth it because, you know, at least they have given the fans everything to watch from round one to round number 10. He's going to win it in the last, last round. But then again, Evans is going to go there and say, look, this is the last round, this round, I need to make sure that I survive the round and he wins by points only. Now or never for Evans, this is the big chance, this is the big moment. He needs to come out and show why he came from Zimbabwe to Namibia. And uh, as uh, far as Jeremy Nakathila, he has something to protect. He needs to be very smart. His ring IQ will be required here not to go all out and try to win it and might lose it in the end. So he had uh, a scorecard to protect here as well. I think, I think, I think Evan doesn't really have any, doesn't, for me, he doesn't have the power to, to cause any upset on Nagasila, but then one never know, one never know. And again, Nagasila, like you said, he mustn't be careless. No, yes, you, you, you know, you want to give those big shots and probably close it off in style. But then again, he mustn't be careless because anything can happen, you know. So Evan is quite, quite happy with, I think he's quite happy with what he's achieved so far. He's quite happy if we, for him to come until round 10, round 10. And even I think to, when this round finishes, you could see the huge smile on his face and say, yes, I told you, you're not going to beat me on knockout and this. You have, you, yes, you have won, but then you have not won me by a knockout. Under two minutes for either of these two boxers to try and make a statement here. It has been a a one-man show in terms of uh, the scorecards. Nakathila will have a lot of say there, but uh, it has been a, a very a battle in a KO, a TKO, and uh, Nakathila was looking for that since day one, and he continues looking for that, but uh, a hard nut to crack in Evans is not allowing Nakathila to have that moment. It had been, been a great, it had been a one sided fight from round one, but then still, um, Evan did not give Nakathila to what he wants. I mean, he wants to hit with those big shots, he wants to get him with those big shots, but then he does not allow him to do that. So, uh, I think, for, like, like I said, uh, you know, we, we um, me, I give my respect to this guy, I give my respect to Evan. He has lost all the rounds for me, but then still, just the fact that he went until the last round, he deserved uh, that, that, even at the end of the round, I think he said that hands of applause for just for him to get that because uh, I know for sure once the, the once, once the bell goes he will be able to he will be smiling all over knowing that it's like for him it's just losing on points is like an achievement 
But then again, it's not just losing on points. Losing on okay, points against, you know, you look at the caliber of fighter that you are losing it. You are losing on points against Nakatila, the guys that have been fighting in the States for the past two, three years. So, you no, know, you losing on points against him is quite an achievement. And, and yes, he got, he, he got the right to, to, to be happy and to, to do whatever he's doing, either to dance and to smile and all that. Six seconds. That's all what is remaining in the round. End of round number 10, and he deserves. He deserves. End of round number 10. And he deserves the round of applause. He really deserves the round of applause. And he really, he really makes the Castillas to work hard for his ending. And uh, Evans uh, remain with his record. He is never knocked down in any boxing event. He lost. He might have lost this one on points. And that's what he does. Losing on points. Losing a medical decision but never go down, dropped out of a fight. That is Evans' record. I think, I th I think, I think that, 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 that's, uh, that's something that he wanted to protect all the time, saying, yes, I've lost most of all my fights, but I've never lost by knockout, and I'm not going to start it out here. And then I've protected it, and I'm going to do. For the main bout of the night, Phillips Energy Nitumbua vs. Tikang from China, the main fight that we've been waiting for the whole night, is about to get started. This is the main fight of the evening, Energy Phillips Nitumbua vs. Tikang. Uh, they can one from China, so it's champion vs champion. So this is a fight that uh, that we all been waiting for all the whole night here. It's China vs Namibia. It's, it's China vs Namibia. The fight that we all been waiting for. Switch to away your voice from as little as 15 Namibian dollars to get access to 150 minutes, 150 SMSs, and 201 megabytes. And also for as, for as much as 249 Namibian dollars, you get 3,000 minutes for 30 days, 4,000 SMSs, and 5 gigabytes data. Courtesy of MTC, make the connection, and they are the proud sponsors for the event tonight. We get back to the ring and look at the scorecard for the night tonight from the three judges. A great, exciting 10 rounds for the boxers. Round of applause once again. <laughs> Judge Haikonda scored about 99-91. Judge Muya scored about 190 
Judge Toivo scored about 190 after the 10 rounds. And for the winner by unanimous decision, Jeremiah Loki Nakafila. Obviously, he won each and every round. Uh, I